Hello, Internet. Hello, iTunes. Hello, Stitcher. Hello, uh, literally any other podcast service you're using to uh, to listen to this. Uh, it's Lane. If you didn't already tell, I'm the only one who's ever on this show, so I don't know why the fuck I needed to explain that. But hi. Um, I, I hope this is, is sounding right. I made a makeshift uh, soundproofing booth. Booth is a very... Uh, very nice term for basically an old unused uh, tub of things that I just shoved soundproofing panels in and put my microphone into it. But I'm really hoping that it uh, improves the sound quality of the show. Uh, it's kind of why it's one of the reasons why Sable and Impromptu Fiction has been taking so long to record because I was desperately trying to get this set up because it just makes everything easier with soundproofing panels i think i i tested it out a couple times it sounds like uh like it's really good but then again you know that's i have to wait for everyone else to decide whether or not it actually sounds good or if i'm just uh bullshitting myself here so you're probably wondering where the new episode of sable is and um i kind of brought it up on tumblr uh which is where I do a lot of my my big blog posts and a lot of my more in-depth updates for the show. So if you'd like to follow that, uh, you don't even have to be on Tumblr. You can just bookmark it, <laughs> you know. Um, you don't have to make another account for a social media service. I, I can get why that would be stressful, being the owner of three or four of them for some fucking reason. But anyway, uh, just to to kind of clarify what had happened uh i was going through a lot of uh, emotional stuff and um you know being the only person working on this show which is, is you know it's my fault you know i could probably find someone to help edit and and produce the show and i just haven't um but being the one man team that i am over here uh this particular event was really stressful. Um, and I kind of didn't want to deal with a show that, uh, is kind of having its darkest season and, and also putting a lot of people in relationships in, uh, jeopardy or in different, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but kind of, uh, a different spot in their life. You know, it, it kind of challenges a couple relationships and, uh, it was hitting a little too close to home. Let's just say that. So uh, episode six is is recorded. It was recorded a while ago. Um, I just haven't – I wasn't editing it because I, I was just listening to it. And, and this episode in particular was uh, was very sad. I know, you know, the last episode I killed off two you know, important characters, but uh, – um, you know, this episode in particular kind of hit home in, in a weird way. Um, and it's not because, like, the characters were going through the exact same thing I was going through. But um, uh, it, it it just struck a nerve that I was not comfortable with striking over and over again. Um, so that's kind of where it's been. Uh, it will be, uh, I guess I should say update, things are good, things are actually great, um, so, you know, that, that kind of whole thing is, is done with, so I am editing uh, episode 6 as we speak, um, I, I just, I wanted to put the word out there, because I know I was really trying to make season 4 um, actually updating consistently, uh, it was going pretty well for for a time um it's just this this event kind of came out of left field and uh for both of us and uh we we just need to work just need to work things out and we worked them out and we're and we're good uh i'm not really going to go into any more specifics there but yeah things are things are good so um Episode 6 will be going up next week. Uh, obviously, patrons will be getting it earlier. Patrons will be getting uh, a few things in the in the coming weeks. Uh, just, I have felt so bad. I have neglected Patreon. And I am 
so happy and honored that I have fans who have who have said like, you know, I, I don't care if I if I don't get a thing. Like I just wanted to to support a show that I really like. And and I I do really appreciate that, but you are also giving me money, so I need to provide the service that I said I would provide the service for. Um it's a lot of things. One, I was not expecting anyone to to actually support the show. Uh, I am not. I'm still new to this whole crowdfund. I don't even want to say crowdfunding because the show would go on regardless. But uh, you know what I mean. It's the first time I've dealt with like people wanting to give me money for something that I'm doing, and I did not plan it as thoroughly as I should have, and I do apologize for that. So. Uh, patrons are going to be getting uh, quite a few things uh, this week and, and pretty much the coming weeks. And uh, I'm not really going to say what they are because I, I want to keep it a, a surprise. But uh, you guys are are going to get your ju- you're going to get what you deserve. God damn it! <laughs> so oh, I, these panels are not taped, and I should have taped them because now they're moving around, and I'm worried that that's going to cause a disturbance but anyway you don't care about that um so the the other thing i had uh intended for for this recording um was to bring up a giveaway that we're doing um if you follow my my personal account and i think i've mentioned it like on tumblr or on uh or on sable's twitter a few times uh, i really like video games i i'm not I hate calling myself a gamer because that puts me in a crowd that I would honestly rather not be a part of, if I'm honest. Um, just especially not right now of all times, but I do really enjoy games. And uh, a game that I had found, uh, a few, let's say, I think it was like the start of this year. Uh, maybe, maybe even a little earlier than when I, maybe even a little later than what I'm thinking, actually. Um, I found a game called, well, it's a series of games, uh, called the Charnel House Trilogy, and it is a really good, really, really great, um, horror, 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 uh, it's a horror, horror, uh, adventure game, like, kind of like a point and click, um, which is funny, because I'm usually not into point and clicks, in fact, I, I kind of really don't like them by design, and it's not because... And it, it it kind of isn't because I don't think that they are bad games by nature. I'm just really bad at them, so I I never give them any attention. But um, Charnel House really got me with its story and the art. I I don't care what anyone says. You can, I will have a fight with anyone who wants to tell me that pixel art is dead and that sprites are out and unoriginal and you know, we need to, we need to find other things to do. You can go fuck right off. Cause I think people who can do amazing things with sprite art and, uh, and 2d art, they, they deserve a lot of credit because they're doing a lot with very little. But so anyway, this, uh, series of games really got to me and I became, uh, Twitter friends with, uh, Olivia White, who is the writer of the Charnel House trilogy, as well as the CEO of Owl Cave Games, who are the the developers, obviously. And, uh, you know, we had been talking back and forth, and, you know, I was fan, I was fanboying over the game, and, because I, I really do think that they, as a company, have a lot of fucking potential to become, like, really great indie developers, and I'm always happy about that. I love people i love indie developers especially a company that has a ceo that's a woman that really fucking makes my day um because you don't see that a lot unfortunately and it needs to happen more often but anyway anyway um we were talking and uh they and uh, olivia had graciously given me five steam keys for the charnel house trilogy and, and she said you know give these away to people uh, do what you want with them, and so that's what I'm going to do. And I was trying to think of how I wanted to do it because I didn't want to pick just like five random people off of Tumblr or on Twitter um, who 
you know, just out of out of whim. So I came up with a little uh, game. So basically what you're going to do, if you want to, of course you don't have to do this if you don't want the games. Uh, or maybe if you, if you don't want to do the games but you just want to participate, that's fine. Just let me know. Um, I was thinking about, uh, you know, Sable being a game or having characters from Sable being a game. So I have a little contest for you. I want you to tell me what kind of game you think Sable would be and what kind and what story in Sable would you like to have its own game? So, you know, what kind of genre is it? What kind of uh, style of gameplay is it? Is it a point and click? Is it a, is it a first person shooter, which I don't think that would work, but maybe who knows? Show me wrong. Tell me, prove me wrong. Um, so yeah, come up with the type of game the Sable game would be, and also what part of the story or what character should the game focus on and why? And, uh, if you are interested in, uh, doing this, uh, even if even if you don't want the games, even if you're just like, oh man, I have a really good idea, uh, send them my way. Sure, what the hell? Uh, send you can send them to sablepod at gmail dot com. That's s a b l e p o d at gmail dot com, and have the header be uh, Sable's new game. Let's just call it that, Sable's new game, and just yeah, tell me what style uh, Sable's video game would take. And what characters would we focus on? And if you want to throw in what the story of the game would be, that's even, that's fine too. Um, just also, if if you're doing it and you don't want the games, just let me know in the email. Um, I'm going to give this, let's say, two weeks. We'll say uh, two weeks from now. Let me, I really should have had my calendar. You know what? Let's say October 1st. Fuck it. We'll say October 1st. Uh, you're going to have until October 1st. I will read through all of them and I'll kind of put the, I'll, I'll put the numbers in a hat that I have over here and maybe I'll film this just so people can watch too. I think I'll film it. Uh, maybe I'll live stream it. Who knows? Um, I will randomly select five people out of the hat and those five people will be, uh, getting keys to the game. I honestly think I really think you should play the games as soon as you get them because they are amazing, and then you should just follow Al Cave Games and Olivia White because uh, they're awesome. I'm gonna put everything in the show notes below, uh, especially uh, kind of the rules of the game and where to send your uh, responses to. So that's kind of what this episode was about. Uh, sorry for the delay in the episodes. I know that that can be frustrating, but, uh, it's going to be worth it. And, uh, yeah. So I love you guys. You know, I love you guys. You know, I'm proud of you and that whatever you're doing, cause you're fucking divine beasts of, of beauty and grace. And I am so honored and privileged to, to have you as fans of the show. Um, Impromptu Fiction will have another episode next week. I hope uh, scheduling conflicts kind of got in the way. I may put up an episode tomorrow that's not, like, obviously a typical Impromptu Fiction episode because I would be the only one doing it. But uh, I kind of wrote a story the other night, and I didn't really have another place to put it, so I might just have me reading it tomorrow. Uh, but that's it for me. Once again, as always, you can find me on uh, Sable at... Oh my god, I I honestly forgot my Twitter handle for a second. Uh, you can find me at SablePod on Twitter. Uh, you can find us on Tumblr and Facebook. Um, we have a Patreon. Uh, support us if you want. I would I would be uh, very happy about that, but it's obviously not required because you're still going to get the episodes regardless. Anyway, hopefully this episode sounds great. I'm still going to kind of fiddle with this makeshift booth uh to make sure that it is mwah, perfect. So uh, here's a big old internet hug from me to you, and uh, see you guys next week.